We hope you'll never need to consider the following rules again. They consider what you must do in case of an aircraft accident or an incident. An accident is an occurrence whereby the aircraft is substantially damaged or a person is killed or seriously injured. NTSB Part 830 defines what constitutes a serious injury and substantial aircraft damage. The operator of an aircraft must notify the NTSB immediately in the case of an aircraft accident. The following incidents must also be reported immediately to the nearest National Transportation Safety Board field office. Flight control system malfunction. A required flight crew member unable to perform duties because of illness or injury. An in-flight fire. Aircraft collision in flight or an aircraft that is overdue and believed to be involved in an accident. The operator of an aircraft has 10 days after an accident to file an accident report. In the case of an incident, a report must be filed only if requested. Prior to the time the NTSB takes custody of aircraft wreckage, mail, or cargo, it may be moved only to protect the wreckage from further damage. One other consideration. There is a NASA Aviation Safety Reporting System program designed to gather data about incidents to maintain and improve aviation safety. The ASRS collects voluntarily submitted aviation safety incidents and situation reports from pilots, controllers, and others. Your anonymity as the filer of the report is guaranteed. No reporter's identity has ever been breached by the ASRS. All personal and organizational names are removed. You can find the ASRS reporting form on the ASRS's website. You can download a copy and print it to mail in or send the report electronically. You can find answers to any of your questions regarding incident and situation reports by visiting the ASRS website or acquiring a copy of Advisory Circular 0046. One other very real benefit to filing this form is that it grants you limited immunity from any FAA enforcement action that may be contemplated as a result of that particular incident. This immunity only applies if the report is filed within 10 days of the occurrence or 10 days from when you became aware of the occurrence. After you send in or submit the completed form, you'll receive evidence of your filing, which you would need if the FAA files a violation against you as a result of the incident.